Hi guys, my name's Raven. I'm gonna be your Pilates instructor today. I'm a master Pilates teacher, trainer, bar instructor, and founder of the Pilates Body Hotties. Follow us on Instagram. And today is a super special day because this is my very first prenatal flow. So I am so, so, so grateful for all of my prego mamas, all of our prego baddies on Pilates hotties. And I wanted to make a workout especially for you guys. Of course, anyone can join in on this workout. It's great for all bodies, but it's especially made to accommodate the bump. <laughs> all you're gonna need are two light weights. I'm using two three pound weights, but you can use water bottles, cans of beans, whatever you wanna use, and a booty band. Remember, all of these props are optional, but you're definitely gonna need a mat. <laughs> Okay, grab your brain, grab your baby, and let's hit the mat. Here we go, y'all. Okay, so I'm on my mat. Come on to all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips, and we're gonna start with some cat cows. So I really want you to round your back, push down into the mat, and pull your bra line up to the ceiling. Think about wrapping the muscles around your baby here. Let's pretend I have an invisible baby, right? <laughs> and now stick your hips out. Really try to stretch the front of your body here. <sighs> Go again. Round, start to breathe. Hips back, chest open. Few more. It's definitely harder for my pregnant mamas to get extension of your spine. So I really want you to focus on articulating your back. Last one here, hips go back. Pick one arm, reach it up to the ceiling for thread and needle. Make sure you're breathing and pushing down. And now thread it through. Keep your hips up, look up. Big stretch of your upper back. Last one. Push down, big inhale, open. Big exhale, close. Hold it here for three, two, and one. All right, let's go to the other side. Feels so good. Open your chest. We're breathing. And then unwind. Oh boy, I am really tight in my upper back. Use your range of motion though. Last one. Big inhale up. It doesn't matter how far you go. I know <laughs> when you got some extra weight in the front, everything's gonna feel different. Your body is changing. We're gonna do some balance stuff for you guys today too because that is so important. Alrighty, feet together, open your knees, give me a big child's pose. If you gotta stop here, that's okay, right? Accommodate the bump, but make sure you're stretching your upper back, reach your fingertips away for three, Ooh, two, my upper body is super tight. Last one. Okay, let's get into some fun buns. Grab your band. We're gonna pull it right above your knees. And I want you to come on to one side. I'm gonna come to my right side. I'll be propped up on my elbow, but we might change it later on. But see how my knees are right in line with my hips and I'm lifting from this underneath side. Here we go, just lift your top leg up and down, that's all we do. So this is more like a 90 degree lift. And I've actually aligned my shins with the front of the mat. Pushing down, four. Get a little core action here, five. I like to even have my hands on my abs. Imagine it's a belly and think about drawing everything in. Ooh, and you're gonna be feeling it in your butt. <laughs> Eight. Hold it up. Now we've got eight baby pulses. Eight, seven, six. There's a little man right here and you're giving a little right up. Four, three, two, one. Go back to big. Down one, up, 
up. Woo! I feel it. Four. Make it big and juicy. Five. Oh, it feels so good, right? <laughs> Seven, try not to slam down like me. Holds it up on eight, eight baby pulses. Eight, seven, six, five. Use your backside, four, three, two, one. You're probably already burning. Okay, watch me. Lie down on that arm now. You can let your arm extend all the way if that feels better. Lift that leg and hold it. Ooh, got something in my eye, honey. Okay, hold right here. This is your new home base. Girl, what is in there? Not the crusties. Knee over knee. This leg cannot touch the bottom one. Extend like you're kicking to me. Bend, that's one. I know it's awful. Push your heel away too. You're gonna feel it come all the way up the back of your leg. Woo, I feel it, four. But keep thinking about drawing in here. I know, six. Push away, seven, almost there. Eight, bring it in, go back to lower. Woo, lift. Two. Oh boy, it burns. Three. <laughs> nice and slow. Almost there. See how my leg is just going, try not to be like me. My favorite part about teaching moms to be is it's so much chiller. Y'all wanna take breaks? I'm like, this is my kind of Pilates. I don't have to do any fancy moves, right? It's Cause it's really not even about that. It's honestly one of my favorites. And I didn't know, I kind of felt like people might think it was weird. Like, why is she teaching pre and postnatal if she's not a mom? You know, but I'm like, I'm a woman, it's really important to me. And like, you guys are my favorite. So hold it up, hold, bend, and extend. And hopefully I'll be a mom. And so this will help me, you know? I'm practicing now, I'm doing it for y'all. So then, whew, I'm more accountable when I have to do it for myself. <laughs> Three. Keep this leg up. Four, we're almost there. Five, woo! Six, two more. Keep it up. Seven, it's burning. Last one, eight, lower down. Okay, take your top leg out of there, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's literally on fire. <laughs> I want you to lift your leg, extend it. Imagine the band was still there. Now sweep the leg back, keep it straight. Sweep it forward, woo, feels good. Push that bottom leg down. Option here, three. Give your booty a squeeze back there. Push, four. Woo. Keep it up, five. Oh my gosh, it's burning. Six, if anything, I want your heel a little higher than your hip. Seven, the ground's on fire. Hold this next one back there on eight. Grab your foot, give yourself a nice big stretch in the front of your thigh. Ooh, I feel it from here all the way down for three, two. Ooh, that feels juicy, honey. We got all this one more time. Here we go. Sweep one, push it back. Remember, limit your range. I don't want you to kick your nose. You are not a rocket, sweetheart, unless you are, but still limit your range. Three, oh, four. I used to wish I was a rocket, y'all in my past life, five. I'm way too short. <laughs> Push, six, almost there. Abs in and up, seven. Hold it back on eight. Top hand reaches for the foot, grab it, hold it. Five, four, big stretchy stretch. Three, two, one, lower down. Okay, come on up, other side. You gotta put that leg in there, I know. It's so rude. It's rude. Get water when you need to get water, right? You take a break when you need to take a break. Like I said, this is chill Pilates. We are not here to go crazy. We're here to just get our bodies ready for the craziness. <laughs> Cause it's a lot. You're gonna go through a lot. And honestly, Pilates will help. I know I'm making jokes right now, but I'm telling you guys, like I've been teaching Pilates for a million years. And I remember like years ago, one of my first clients um, who was pregnant, she'd been doing Pilates with me for years already. And then she got pregnant with her first kid and she was like in her thirties, really cool. 
and um, she kept doing Pilates. She kept coming. She'd come like three times a week in the afternoons. And we just modified and modified and modified. And literally she came like up until like maybe two weeks, hold it, little pushes. And then she had the baby. I'm telling you guys, when she came back into the studio, probably like two months after she had the baby, eight weeks, she was ripping and running. Like she got right back into it. She looked so good. She felt so good. Like she literally was like, I'm so glad I kept going. Four, three, two, one. Lower, lift. We gotta do all that one more time. But I'm really telling you guys like, it makes me upset because then, remember option to come here. I've had so many friends who just, you know, we're doing hit and doing all these like crazy, crazy, and nothing's wrong with that. Five. But when, once they got pregnant, of course, like they couldn't be doing like crazy exercises. So then they didn't exercise as much. Hold this next one up, eight little pulses. Six, five, four, whoo, three, two, one, lower down. Give yourself a little pat. So trying to get back into hit and stuff like that after not doing it for almost nine months was really, really, really hard for them. Keep your leg lifted, three. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just the harder way. Five, six, that's why I love Pilates, it's really strengthening your smaller supportive muscles. Oh, eight, hold it here, back to lower down and up. Woo, my booty's on fire, one, two, oh boy, three. Woo, honey child. <laughs> Six, almost there. Seven, almost there. Hold it up on eight. Now keep that leg up there. One, these are slow. Two, oh my God, I feel it. Three, really squeeze, get a stretch in the back of your leg. Four, don't quit on me yet. Five, Ooh, I say don't quit, then I quit. <laughs> Six, seven, last one, eight. Lower down, okay, take your leg. Out of there. Ooh. That thing is banging. Now lift it back up where it came from. Extend it back to me. Keep it straight. We sweep one. Forward. Imagine you're going through Play-Doh two. Squeeze your booty in the back. Three. Keep breathing. Ooh. Why does my leg feel so heavy? <laughs> Keep going. Five. Keep going, six. Abs are running up, y'all. Seven. Ooh, baby. Hold it back on eight. Take your hand, grab that foot, give it a big pull. Four, three, big stretchy, stretchy, two. One more time, leg extends, it stays up. Here we go, one. Push away, that bottom side should be working. Abs, two. Or abs, <laughs> three. They're still in there, I promise you. Four. Keep going. Oh, it's on fire. Five. How are you breathing? Six. Woo, honey bunny. Seven. Last one. Hold it back. Grab your foot. Big old stretch for five, four, three, and two, and one. Oh boy, come on up. Woo! Come to seated. Now, if you can, give me a little hip stretch right here. Oh my gosh, it really does not feel good. <laughs> For three, two, other side. See how my hands are real far back? I'm trying to give myself space. If you're feeling more flexible, walk your hands in, lift your chest up. Five, four, we're breathing. Three, Two. Okay, last thing down on the mat for me. Grab your band. Goes back above the knees. Back on all fours, grab one of your weights. I know we're about to get into full body and arms. I've got my weight in my left hand. My spine is nice and long. Pull that elbow up. Squeeze, pinch it in. Here we go. Stretch and bend. That's all we do. If your joints are bothering you, your knees, fold your mat up a little more. Four, 
five, we're almost there. Push through that right hand. Seven, ooh, feel that tricep. Now hold it back on eight, hold it. Arm stays long, extend the opposite leg. Now we're getting some core, hold. Everything comes in, one, stretches out, two. See how slow I'm going. My left arm is moving, my right leg is moving. Three, I'm growing so long. Breathing, four, woo. Breathing, five, woo. Breathing, six, woo. Seven. Hold it back on eight, hold it, eight, seven, six. Lift it, three, two, one. Other side. Wasn't bad. Pull it. I don't want to kill your arms just yet. <laughs> really push the ground away. This is for your posture. Because a lot of times, <laughs> I'm like making pregnancy sound so bad, even though like we all like really want to happen, we want that to happen to our bodies. But your tatas are getting bigger and heavier and that's making your upper back rounds forward more. And we want to keep those muscles strong. Last two, two, hold it back on one. I'm reaching my arm out to the wall behind me. I extend that opposite leg, hold your balance, bring it in. Two, Ooh, I feel my abs working. Three, Woo. even if you can't use the weight right here or the band, the band is a lot, get rid of it. Five, six, Almost there. Seven. Almost there. Hold it eight, hold it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower down. All righty. Get a sip of water, take your band off, and we're gonna stand up. All right, mamas, here we go. Start with your legs wider than your hips, toes pointed outwards a little bit, roll your shoulders back. Now draw your elbows in with your weights. We extend arms out, in. So just standing right here, focusing on the arms and really focusing on drawing your elbows into your hip bones. Like I've got cords connected from these elbows in, so we're getting lots of core and waist. We're breathing. Now hold them out, we add a plie, we bend, pull, extend. So now we're working your inner thighs in a safe way while also working your legs and opening your hips. We just worked on strengthening your hips. We wanna open them now to push that thing out. <laughs> Keep going. Five, see how slow I'm moving. I'm going straight down, my chest is staying up. I don't care how low you go. Almost there, seven, Woo. Hold it down, eight, now just do your arms. Eight, slow, chest up. Five, it feels good, I know it burns. Four, three, I know it burns, two, one, stand up, roll your shoulders out, roll your neck out a little bit. We're almost there. Did y'all hear that? Oh my God, my neck just cracked a million times. Okay, arms open, elbows up, close. I'm acting like I'm pregnant. Close in. See how my shoulders are down, my abs are in. Now, arms open, legs open, we bend close. That's one, you got it. Two, Woo. you feel your inner thighs working your hips. Three, think about sliding down a wall. I know you love it. <laughs> Almost there. Six, seven, keep those abs in and up. Hold it down on eight, just do your arms for me. Eight, keep your legs, I know. Five, we're almost there. Four, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Stand up, roll your shoulders out. Woo! These weights are heavy. Now, keep your legs wide, but point your right toe out. Arms open, we do the same arms curtsy. Leg back, hold. 
Bring it up, that's one. Go straight down. Now we're working balance and a little bit of cardio. If you need to get rid of your weights, do it. Now hold this next one down on four, hold. Twist your spine towards the left. Stand up. Twist your spine, get a big stretch. Woo. I know. Three, get low. One more there. Four, get low. Now hold it, same legs, bring your right arm up, stretch to the left. Ooh, it feels good. Open. My heart rate's picking up. Two, this should feel like a big stretch in the front of your right side, the front of your right hip. Three, keep your core tight. Last one. Four, open, switch legs. Now I'm pointing my left toe out, my arms are strong. Go straight down, one. My arms are gonna fall off, two. Two, you got it. Nice posture. Go at your tempo. Hold this next one down, hold. Twist to the right, one. Open, keep it going. Two. Open, you're almost there, baby. Three, keep that twist small if you need to. Woo! Four, now stand up. We bring the left arm up, here we go. Away, keep it small if you need. One, we're working our core three-dimensionally and that balance, so important. Woo! This is hard and I'm not pregnant, okay? <laughs> Last one. Big stretch over. Bring it up, cross one arm in front. I hope you enjoyed this workout today. I definitely did. <laughs> I'm clearly out of breath, other arm. Woo! Remember, take care of yourself. Gently stretch, never overdo it when you're pregnant. Shoulder rolls again. Always use your breathing, always take water breaks. Reverse, and if you're not preg, <laughs> comment, let me know. How'd you like that? Were you struggling like me? Because, oh my gosh. Arms up to the ceiling, big inhale. Let me know if you guys want any more of these. One more time. Woo. And all the way down, you guys are finished. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow Pilates Body Hotties on Instagram because I'm gonna see you later on the mat. Bye.